part four on my double sideband 40 metre transceiver. I've given it a name and christened it the Beach 40. It came about because of an item on solder smoke. There it was called an on the beach 40 metre double sideband transceiver. That's a bit of a mouthful, so I've shortened it to the Beach 40. But the main thing I wanted to talk about was the audio amplifier. Some people have suggested the LM386 wasn't quite enough and maybe a couple of transistors as a preamp may be a good fix for that. That may be so, but the essence of a simple rig is doing it with fewer components. And there's improvements to the LM386 stage itself that could bring that about. Not the usual thing where you connect a 10 microfarad capacitor between pins 1 and 8, but there's other changes. They only require a few components and they can appreciably increase the chip's gain circuit that I'll introduce today. Having a look at the circuit, there's no capacitor between pins 1 and 8. In fact, pin 8 isn't used at all. Instead, pin 1 is used. There's a 47 microfarad electrolytic between pin 1 and a 22 ohm resistor. That goes to ground. If you decrease the value of the resistor, you increase the audio gain further, but you may get instability. So leave it at 22 ohm unless you want to experiment. Also from pin 1 is a 2.2k resistor. That's in series with a 4.7 nanofarad disk ceramic capacitor, which is wired up to pin 5. So that's all there is to it. Two extra resistors, two extra capacitors. Leaving out the usual one between pins 1 and 8, that brings it down to just one extra capacitor. That's just three components extra definitely worthwhile for the increased gain. And as you'll hear, it will power a speaker in a quiet room or provide good headphone reception for portable operating. Audio gain is now sufficient to give sufficient volume with a small speaker on strong signals. And just a reminder, the entire gain in this receiver comes from a single LM386, with the mods, as described before, effectively increasing its gain. Uh, 